you might think that this sour bread looks normal, but let me assure you, something is completely wrong with this bread. In fact, so wrong that Cristiano Ronaldo would hate it. Um. Okay, before continuing, I really need to apologize. I need to apologize to you, the whole world, and I definitely have to rethink my life decisions. With this crazy bread baking challenge that I'm about to show you, my German bread baking ancestors are in fact now dishonoring and shaming me. Gluten talk! I'm Hendrik and I really love showing you some interesting bread baking challenges. I made crazy bread with fruit flies before, beer and even champagne. Now, do you already see in which direction this video is heading? Unlike Cristiano, I occasionally drink this black magical juice. So one evening I was in my full creative mode. Wow, Hendrik, you need to make a bread with Coca-Cola. The flavor this would have, it would be out of this world. It would be insane. I've heard that you can use Coca-Cola to dissolve animals. Is that true? If that is, can you really make a bread with Coca-Cola instead of water? How would such a bread taste? So many questions, but I'm all excited and I want to show you for this channel. Let's make some bread! The recipe is rather simple. I'm using a stiffer sourdough starter. It should have been fed recently. I'm adding 320 grams of Coca-Cola to a bowl. This is followed by 80 grams of sourdough starter. Afterwards, I add 8 grams of salt. And then ultimately, 400 grams of strong bread flour. I'm kneading everything in the machine on high speed until I see that the dough lets go of the container. It took around 10 minutes. Did we really just make a dough with Coca-Cola? I can't believe it. The dough came together quite well despite being a little sticky and sugary on my hands. The next step is to extract a small piece of the dough. Once this is doubled in size, you're ready to proceed with the next step. Seriously, this little stupid trick of extracting a small piece of the dough is such a game changer when you want to bake bread at home especially when you want to make sourdough bread. With the stiff starter that I'm using, you can safely aim for a doubling in size. It might take five hours, 10 hours, or 15 hours. No matter how long it takes, the time it takes to double really depends on so many factors. So give this a shot, this is gonna be a game changer. Wait for it to double and your dough is ready. Very good tip, very good tip. Marigato. And oh boy, it worked. The sample increased in size. I was happy, but at the same time, I wasn't happy. Because you shouldn't make bread dough like this, let's face it. This is not what you should do. Afterwards, I proceeded and shaped the dough as I always do. The technique is quite gentle on the dough and makes sure the crumb is all fluffy afterwards. After a quick 15 minutes rest at room temperature, I move the banneton into the fridge overnight. The next morning, I start to heat up my oven to 230 degrees Celsius. I bake the bread using my cheap German oven setup. And wow, wow. the bread turned out really, 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 really nice. It had beautiful oven spring, a nice ear, and oh boy, it was so fluffy. It's so fluffy, I'm gonna die. It has all the characteristics of an excellent bread. And now comes the big question. How is this bread gonna taste? And I didn't want to taste this alone. I wanted to prank my neighbor Erik because he has been eating some of my sourdough bread before. But this time I'm gonna feed him a sourdough bread made with Coca-Cola. I'm only gonna be revealing in the end what he actually just ate. I couldn't wait to see his reaction. See for yourself. So Erik, you will be the test subject testing this beautiful bread. Let's see what you think about it. <laughs> How does it taste? Good. Do you taste something special about it? No. No? It smells different. But what if I told you that Cristiano Ronaldo would hate this bread because of one particular ingredient? Okay, what is it? <laughs> Standing there right next to you. Here. This bottle of 
Coke. Oh! <laughs> the original taste. <laughs> Tastes a little bit like Coca Cola. No. <laughs> no, not at all. Damn. Not at all. <laughs> Mom's a good bread. <laughs> yeah. Delicious and refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. And I could confirm the bread wasn't sweet at all. The sourdough has eaten all the sugar of the Coca Cola. Now, have you ever had a Coca Cola without sugar? That's what the bread tasted like. It was a very, very subtle taste. Now, how do you think I could have improved the recipe? Maybe by making a Coca-Cola reduction or making some sort of Coca-Cola paste, maybe? And also, please let me know what crazy challenge I should be doing next. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. A random commenter is going to win a cool Brad merch shirt like this one. Confession. I'm a big fan of Cristiano Ronaldo. Actually, so much that I always have him close to my private parts. Seriously, I think the CR7 boxers are the most comfy ones you can wear as a man. Plus, I previously traveled to Madeira, his home place, and visited his statue. Make sure to check out the proportions of the statue. Do you notice something special maybe about it? Anyways, I used my sourdough starter to grab a little bit of holy air around the CR7 statue, hoping that my sourdough starter is gonna get even better. Maybe one day, I can meet up with him and offer him some sourdough bread with or without Coca-Cola. I would be seriously interested to see his reaction when he eats one of my breads. Hope you had fun and as always, may the gluten be with you. I really need to replenish my bread karma now.